It was a time of national joy and sorrow. It was a September to remember. Relive the Olympic memories of Seoul, next on CBC Television. Sunday Report, followed by Venture, tonight on CBC Television. You're watching CBC North. They're, They're away quickly. Ben, ben Johnson, Johnson flying over the lock. They will not touch Evan. She has won her third gold medal. What a September to remember. It's as if the whole world paused for a brief time. All our differences were put aside, and we focused not on the turmoil and differences of the world, but on our similarities and the shared celebration of athletic achievement. So much of my life has been dedicated to training and preparing for the Olympics. I was able to sit back and watch the Seoul Games, and I realized what a wonderful and important event they are. When Ben won, it was like 1972 when we beat the Soviets at hockey and we all went to the mountaintop with him. Then when they took his medal away, we came down from the mountain. We just felt empty. When we really needed a hero most, Lennox Lewis came forward to be recognized. He rose to the challenge and answered the Olympic dream. There are so many dramatic moments and it's a wonderful opportunity for all of us to share and really be part of the incredible joy that these athletes experience. When they played the national anthem and when the Canadian flag was raised, I just fell to pieces. It's a moment I will always remember and I'll never forget how great it felt. In the end, the most lasting impression that I had when I came back from Seoul was that in spite of all the mystery, in spite of all the differences and the distances involved, that the average Korean really isn't all that different from the average Canadian.